Well, hey there, folks. King Barbecue here. So proclaimed king of all barbecue with my friend Gregory. And today we are reviewing the Boris Karloff starring classic chiller, The Mommy. Huh? Huh? The Mummy. At home, Gregory says to tell you that we have special surprise at the end of the show. See, King Barbecue, he been working on how to bake, right? And uh, I finally made something. My baking class has been going pretty well. Coincidentally, I've been working with Bimsy the Mummy. And she's been showing me a trick or two, and I've been studying real hard, and we're going to try a most delicious of a cupcake at the end of today's program. Damn it, I got plenty of bandages. Hey, take it off get the down, car. Get down my foot. Take it off Pull the Pull it off my foot. There's food around here. Get your foot down. Pull it off my foot. What? Adam, they're going to burn. Who's Adam? The Mummy stars Boris Karloff, and uh, he plays Imhotep, and he's a mummy that did black magic back in the ancient of the Egypt time. Anyway, Imhotep's love dies, and he wants the secrets of the resurrection, but he gets caught, and his dad sentenced him to death. But because he break the ancient laws, he has to be mummified alive and buried alive. What this does is curse his body and then he lives for eternity. Now, in this movie, he don't walk around with the bandages on. That happens in sequels that Boris Karloff isn't even in. They star Lon Chaney Jr. Now, this particular one, Boris Karloff is looking quite mummy-like in the beginning. And these two excavators excavate him. One of them says, do not read from this magic scroll that we have found encased in his sarcophagi tomb because it has ancient properties of mysticism and magic that we do not want to unleash. And this guy said, ah, shucks to you, I'm gonna read it anyway. And he do. And then the mummy come alive and he gets scared. Okay, understandable. Then he starts laughing. And he keep on laughing. Laughing like a madman and he actually go crazy from what he saw. That's how intense it was! Gregory, you believe that? I swear, Gregory, sometimes I feel like you're not even paying attention. Imhotep slowly regenerate a little bit, and he look all wrinkly and crusty, and it's a really cool makeup job. And they put a fez on him, and they put a moo on him, and then he walk around as Lord Imhotep of the land. And he make acquaintances with people as time passes, but his ultimate goal is to try to find his long-lost love, Anaxaba, Anaxamu, Ahoxanamu. <coughs> Something like that. Anyway, this one chick, she apparently the resurrected spirit of an ox and blah, blah, blah. And uh, then he said, well, you know what I got to do is I got to make you aware that you resurrected on my old home. And he'd do this by showing her a pool of visions or something. And uh, she start to remember, but then she conflicted because she's like, I'm young and alive and I don't want to have to die and come back as your mummy girlfriend. And he's like, well, woman, you know, that's the only way I can do it. You know, okay, we, it's like, I've been dead for so long. It's all like sawdust down there. So we need to make you a mummy too. And then we can put it all together and just, like get some, you know, some action, right? Ooh. Some action. That's all. That's all these monsters want. You know, Dracula want brides. The mummy want to get a bride. Freaking Frankenstein want a bride. Damn creature on Black Lagoon want to get some women's. Just all these, all these monsters just want our women's. Anyway, it turns into a, a, a fight for survival as Imhotep wants to kill her and resurrect her as, or something. And then what happened is uh, he gets undone and turned to bones. And then the movie freaking ends hardcore. Like it just ends. So one thing about these old movies is the second the monster's dead, the movie over. They don't waste any time with any kind of bull crap after like let's talk about the resolve of all this or what we're going to do to make sure it don't happen again or even like they do nowadays where they try to set up the sequel or the shared universe like oh man well I can't wait to see the next installment to figure out if Iron Man going to be okay after he put that nuke up in the alien's butthole and this one just ends. The end is over. So it's creepy chiller. And uh, if you lack uh, creepy chillers, then this is a good creepy chiller to watch. Yes? Oh, the cupcake. Wait. Uh, Gregor, there you go. I am excited. 
as long as I don't die, I think it's gonna be a success. <gasps> oh, don't hurt me now. Mmm. Mmm. Just for the video, sweetie. I was acting, I'm sorry. Everything's okay. Slimer made me do it. <laughs>